Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom. Here's the kind of question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. How many protons, neutrons, and electrons are there in a bromine atom? To solve this problem, all we need is a periodic table. We'll find all the information that we need by looking at bromine square on the periodic table. Bromine has the symbol Br. It's right here. There are two important numbers. The top number on the square is the atomic number. This is the number of protons in the nucleus of that element. So the number of protons in bromine is 35. Since the question said a bromine atom, we can assume that the number of protons and electrons are the same. Atoms do not have a positive or negative charge overall. And since protons have a positive charge, the total number of protons must be balanced by the same number of electrons because electrons have a negative charge. So the numbers of electrons is 35. Finally, we need to figure out the number of neutrons. We can look at the other number here at the bottom of the square. This is called the atomic mass. It's the average mass of all the different isotopes of bromine. Each isotope has a different number of neutrons. To answer this homework question, we're going to round this number to the nearest whole number because that will tell us the mass, technically it's the mass number, of the most common type of that element. So for bromine, it would be 80. The mass number 80 is the number of protons and neutrons added together. Since we already know the number of protons, 35, we can subtract that from the mass number. So the number of neutrons is the mass number minus the atomic number. And for bromine, that comes out to 45 neutrons. So our answer to this homework problem is 35 protons, 35 electrons, and 45 neutrons. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.